Guys, I find the rigging whoopee worming its way into my affections for light rigging. And a really good extension for it is the Omniblock for situations where you need low friction and you know you're not going to have to contend with impact forces. The combination is a terrific pair. The rigging whoopee doubles the MBS of the Omniblock to 72 kilonewton. And the Omniblock enables a new, fast installation technique that I'll show you later in this video. Here's the Omniblock 2-inch by Rock Exotica. This thing is so well made, I just like holding it. But it's got two features that are killer good for this application. The swivel keeps the rigging line running true through the pulley and the rings, even if the whoopee gets twisted through the crotch. And second, the ability to break the pulley open as a snatch block and load midline is just fabulous. The most obvious application of that is the ability to load the bull rope midline uh, when you're in the choking configuration. But what I really like is the ability to load the throw line midline. What's that all about? Well, I'll show you later. Let's go out and take a look at the Whoopi and Omniblock in the tree. Guys, we're out here uh, with the rigging Whoopi and the Omniblock installed. Um, to demonstrate a new technique for installing it and disinstalling it so that the Omniblock never has to go into the tree. It goes straight up, straight down, never has to find its way uh, through the crotch. Um, in prior videos, you saw the, the rigging whoopee with the small ring and the large rings installing like a normal ring and ring friction saver. Now when we add the Omniblock, we make a few small but important changes. The Omniblock itself becomes the small ring, but instead of leading with the small ring uh, going into the tree first, which is normal, we're going to lead with the large ring going into the tree. I have already hit the branch, as you can see, and we're going to Put the bag through the large ring and clip on a big HMS beaner to hold against the uh, ring. Now, and this is what I absolutely love about the snatch block. You notice I haven't had to think about the throw line ahead of time, and I haven't got throw line reeved all around the workplace. I'm just going to open the snatch block now and go to the throw line bucket and load the Omniblock midline. So now we just start to pull, get to the crotch, do the flip, get the bag back. Pull the bull rope up. Let it breathe through the ring, let it breathe through the pulley, and your installation is done. To get it back, what we want to do is get to the end of the bull rope that is falling from the large ring. And we're now holding the end of the bull rope dropping out of the large ring. We tie a simple overhand knot about a foot into the rope, pull on the bull line, the knot is passing the large ring, captures the pulley, the throw line is back feeding over the branch and controlling the descent. The whole whoopee is coming back to me, soft landing, and it's never had to find its way through the uh, through the tree thanks for watching